very normal standard playthrough, a very normal in here in RimWorld. You, you're finally awake. Right here in time for RimWorld, the RPG fantasy world playthrough. Hello, how are you all doing? Welcome. Today, I've decided, let's embrace the chaos. I've seen some feedback from people saying that there just aren't enough quests. That, that we need to be out there caravanning non-stop, and to be honest, I kind of agree. I think it would be nice to have an episode where we just have people out there constantly. We are spending too much time at the inn. So I've made a lot of tweaks, a, a big, huge amount of tweaks that I'm sure I'll have on the workshop before I finally disappear. But as a reminder, oh, tree. Uh, but before we begin, as a reminder, I am away until Monday. Now today, who? Oh my God, the prisoners, we've got to ransom out. Whoops, forgot about that. Now, as a reminder, I'm away till Monday. Now, today may be Monday or today may be Sunday. I don't know when this is, but I've had to record a lot of episodes ahead of time. So I've decided for today, let's ramp things up. Let's go a little bit crazy with it, see what it's like. And then I can get all the feedback over the last few days and I can see what people like the most. And then I can make the changes when I get home, if I make it home. So my goal for today is, is very, very simple, right? I want everybody out there on the world map all the time. I think today it's Rita's turn to open the box because I don't think she's done that yet this series. I think Phil has and Gregna did the first time around. Whoa, my God. Oh, wowee. Uh, we got a war bow. Why, why did she get so much? What the hell happened there? This is amazing. We've got three of those ancient notes that we can use to make some golem stuff. Uh, Chitin Ash Mask of the Warrior. Wow. Gives a little extra melee damage. That's fine. I'm not going to give it to Grigna, but that's quite nice. Who are we going to turn into melee warrior? It's going to be uh, Scooty Poot, right? Here you go. This is for you, my friend. Then we've got the Deflecting Garjalan Helmet of Possibility, uh, which gives higher melee hit chance. High oh, my God. It's even better still. Higher damage multiplier. Gives a bunch of armor value and some extra hit points to the helmet itself so it will last longer. Repairing our gear and items and weapons is going to be so important this time around. Bear in mind, say, Grigna has that fancy axe that he's got. That is... Uh, I don't think they can degrade when they're named, in fact. Um, but you can see his other gear is falling apart. Like if his polar bear helmet disappeared, I'd be very upset about that one. So we need to make sure that we're maintaining all the weapons and armor pretty much all the time. I think to Scoozy Poo, I've got to give this one then. Even though this one is a higher base quality, that one's legendary. This one has just like a better cumulative set of enchantments and an Eltex mask for Phil. Phil, the psychic master. And we also got some uranium. I'm actually really after resources. Bear in mind, we can't get that very easy this time around. Oh, I like the... Oh, I like the psychic mask for Phil. I think that works so, so well. Sorry, magical. I keep forgetting. I've renamed everything, and I keep forgetting that we're magical now. It's going to take a long time to break that habit. We've got also two more points to spend for Phil. Oh, I did say we should upgrade his base level, though, didn't I? Because he hasn't got the mana load, or neural heat as it was, to be able to cast the spells in the first place. So we need to make sure that we're upgrading the load before we go for... Before we go for some new stuff for Phil. So I'll let you, I'll let you do a little meditating. How's Rita looking? I haven't checked on you in a while. Um, you have a point to spend and you're just about to get another. So we can go for Tree Sprout or Manhunter Pulse on an Animal. Oh. Considered a declaration of war if it affects animals on a caravan. Honestly, that might be a get out of jail free card for her. If we send her out in a caravan, everybody's knocked down because she's obviously the ranger. That would be so nice as, uh, as a bit of backup there. I'm happy with that one. Right, so if I'm not mistaken, the way this works is the bird post counts as uh, as the way to obviously send off the, the things for the scribe table. The counts as the power for the scribe table. The scribe table is effectively a comms console. And then the cart, uh, which I think we also unlock simultaneously, is the thing we use to... Uh, there you go. Is the orbital trade beacon, right? So if we want to ransom the prisoners off, we're going to have to put a cart in there with them. Look, I think we just... I think we just throw it all somewhere else. I need to build another building. I need to build a building where we can... Maybe we'll take this area at some point. That's what we can have Bones do while everyone else is away. We'll build a dedicated... Maybe prison and infirmary might be a good plan. Let's start planning it out. Why not? We'll try and keep it basic because it is just going to be kind of a treatment center. This is a good opportunity to maybe move the research station over into a... A, a hospital, drugs lab, a pocket three, whatever you want to call it. But we really can't get too grand with it because we just don't have the research as much as I'd like to go nuts with building as I... As I am very much want to do on this channel. Ooh, a marauder camp from old Gummy Bonson, I see. Send us a message, apparently tribes people inhabited nearby ruin. We can take five Cerberus hide. Oh, the rewards are kind of crap, Gummy. <sighs> you know what? The Soothing Orb actually might be pretty good. So the Soothing Orb is just like, uh, you know, the, the happiness device from the base game. 6,000 hours, by the way. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we've got Dragonkin in a ruin that we have to clear out. That's a two-star difficulty. I think we send... 
I was gonna, I was genuinely gonna say we'll send the crap ones over to this one, but I feel like they might die given that they almost got murdered by those tiny little goblins. So yeah, okay, fine, we'll do the sensible thing. We'll send Gregner, we'll send Phil, we'll send Risa, we'll send them with an alpaca, and then, uh, maybe, because I'm feeling generous, a little bit of food. I'm also gonna send them with one legendary medicine, because I feel like that's gonna be maybe necessary. They get the tents, or two of them at least, the other people can piss off. And then two... So this ruin, which I think is the easier one, right? That one we're going to send over. What the hell? Who's this? The Central Republic built a... The Central Republic founded a faction? Duovernum Catiacorum, which is Latin for... <laughs> We've stolen one of your settlements, I can only presume. What? Yes! More quests! More! Ooh! Legendary medicine times 16 and then something broken. Well, I guess I'll take the legendary medicine then. That seems like a good idea. It turns out the mob that removes the futuristic crest rods is a little bit, uh, a little bit broken. So sometimes when it spawns and then it'll spawn like a, a silent neuroformer and then that obviously won't work and then it'll be blank. So well, I'm happy to take the medicine, all right? I'm, I'm more than good with that. I mean, sure, why not? We're, we're trying to go quest to quest to quest today and we're gonna bring home a massive caravan filled with loot to see the true potential. I wanna see what you've got. Item stash, done. 200 silver. Yeah, I, I'm on it. Jeremiah's stash of treasure. A spell book containing ice shield. A magical tome written by a powerful mage containing all things to know about a specific spell. Wow. What a good mod. Uh, for the Frostmancer. Um, it's kind of pointless, actually. Unless we can... Is it like a cross-class skill? Can I teach that to, say, Grigna? He is an, a big old barbarian. Ice spells might make some sense. I wouldn't. I'd probably give it to uh, Phil instead, but that, that could be useful. There you go. In the inn, we've got Pierce the Muscle. We've got Bones the Innkeeper. And then we've got Exe the Cleaner. Cleaner, I suppose. Now, before I forget, let's go ahead and apply the jewelry. Sorry to wake you up at midnight to do some research here. Or at least just apply the research, because that way it'll be automatically... Moving on to the next one when we're done with these elf camps or whatever else we're doing out there. There you go. Perfect. Elven equipment and jewelry. I'm hoping from that we can make some Eltex jewelry because we do have that chunk of Eltex that we can't do anything with right now. And you know what? We still might not be able to do anything with it. Oh, God. Okay. I guess we need a different workbench. What the hell just happened? We had... Mass Sky Shard Impact. Oh! Mass Sky Shard Impact means multiple Sky Shards impacting. Ah, in this case, three of them. That makes a lot of sense. We've also got very uh, typical fantasy. Damsel in distress, kidnapped by the New Republic. We stumbled over a stunning and helpless girl held by one of the New Republic savages. Could we bear the thought to leave her in their grasp? No, madam. We will rescue you immediately. Or should we follow them silently until they make camp? Ooh. Oh, whose caravan is this? Do we know? I've got Gunty's caravan selected. I think if it was Gregna, we would rush in head first and get shot horribly. I think we follow them silently. You follow up to their camp and wait till dark. You only have one guard, which seems rather drunk. Would it be easy to take? How do you proceed? Sneak in, kill the bandits in their sleep and free the girl. You stepped on a twig and the guards woke up. We can either fight them or run. Obviously we fight. Who was it? Oh my God, it was. Ah, oh, Irina. Irina, are you okay? 13 mining double passion, my god. Irina, are you looking for a job as a quarryman? We've got Hermina Articulia, my favorite Harry Potter spell. <laughs> oh, this is going to be easy. You are against the might of Scooby. Sco Scooty, Gunty, and Sirik, not Scooby. Don't think he'd be so mighty right now. Get him. Get him. Bring him down. This might take a while because, bear in mind, our people don't really tend to hit things. Ever. <laughs> it's just bullshit, isn't it? Wow, you hear a weak voice. You hear Irina asking you to come closer. Irina, hello. You gotta, we gotta come closer. Hold on. Irina, are you okay? Sweet, precious Irina. She doesn't seem like she's doing too well. Not to mention she is an enemy, a captive. Ah, oh, thank you for saving my life. Would you allow me to join you on your journey? We can either say yes, you're welcome to join, or sorry, we can't take the risk. Of course, Irina. You're welcome to join us anytime. Oh, there she is. Oh, shit. Maybe we should... Oh, no. She doesn't need patching up. She's just she's just taking a few hits. Just needs to chill out for a while. Hamina, you have learned your lesson. But we're uh, we're going we're gonna to finish you off. We're going to finish you off. Who, who needs the experience, really? Uh, Scooty. Scooty, get over here. Put that mace to good use. You blackguard. How dare you kidnap this harmless lady? What the... Scooty? <laughs> you see that? He did a power slide. Oh, I see why they call you Scooty now. Oh, God. 
You were hit three times, four times, five times by a great axe. That's on me. I apologize. I guess it's down to Gunty the Elf to try and finish you off. Um, you can't. <laughs> you didn't have the melee skill. Oh, oh, the humanity. <laughs> well, in this case, the the Elf. Oh, the Elf. Remember of House Bonson bought 150 wood for 100 silver. Wow, stonks. This is massive profits. How you doing? Is Scooty going to be all right? Because that was a pretty hefty attack. <laughs> oh, God, it's still going. Phil's caravan is heading up through... Uh, the, the more abandoned parts of the Plains of the Republic near that elf settlement there. You're gonna be, are you gonna be okay, Scooty Poo? Yeah, walk it off. That's a good idea. Well, I suppose we'll take this person back then and make sure that she's okay. We didn't get too far away from the base. It's only gonna take, what, like half a, yeah, not even that. Not even half a day to get home. That was noble. That was a noble and mighty intention we had there. We've got a bandit camp. We also have an item stash. Maybe I'll send these people, maybe I'll send those guys east and then, uh, given that it's gonna be almost as quick to run down to the road, hit this, and then go back as it is just walking back through here. I genuinely thought they bought a silver then. I'm losing my mind. Maybe that might be a better idea. 0 0.9 days before they get there. They've only got 0 0.5 days food, so we'll probably have to set up camp very, very soon. You know what might be a, a fun, but absolutely nuts long-term goal? Getting another one of the uh, uh, kind of adventurous guild sites like the Silly Goose. Then build it exactly on the other side of the planet. Oh my God, exactly on the other side of the planet. <laughs> it's like bang on the it's almost bang on the capital of the new republic for god's sake i promise that was not intentional but that is amazing look if we try and line that up right in the middle of the planet it's about there right no it's it's like i, I would say it's like right there that's nuts that was totally unintentional uh, by which i mean of course that was uh, completely oh they're back that was good timing and uh, no that was, uh, that was absolutely what i meant to do how dare you suggest otherwise arena this was the lady that we rescued from those horrible bandits yesterday, a damsel in distress. So, one thing I noticed is that the guests that have been stopping off at the hotel have been spending all their time meditating on the anima tree, because it counts as a recreation site, right? So these people are pretty happy. You can see the recreation actively ticking up there. But they've also given us 37 anima grass, so we can link with it, like, twice more. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Um, actually, Bones, what were you? Well, you, yeah, that's right. You start down the Artificer path. She hasn't got enough uh, level quite yet. So the first level unlocks the magic stuff. Then the second level unlocks the actual path itself. Then, of course, we go from there. What did you get by default? Paladin. Oh, we could do something with that eventually. I like the idea of the, the Armorer and the Innkeeper also being the Protector. That makes a lot of sense, right? So what have we got here? Enchant quality. Oh, man, that's actually so good. Improves an item quality by reshaping the material slightly, but cannot imitate a master's handiwork. So that would upgrade it from, say, normal to good, good to excellent, maybe up to... I, I guess it probably wouldn't let you go to Masterwork or Legendary, but that's still great. And then the other one is... Oh, the other one is Mend, though. Oh, that's a hard choice. Because mending our tools, keeping our equipment going is going to be so important in this playthrough, right? And then I, I love the idea kind of now of her going down the Paladin path, too. I, I, literally, it's Guardian Skip Barrier. She is effectively the Guardian of the Inn, right? That's so good. We could give any of these people a silent level now, and actually it might help uh, turn some of these people into slightly better characters. Scooty, what were you? You were the... Scooty's level one warlock. Scooty is level one warlock? Since when? Did I link him with the tree and not notice, or has he always been like that? What the hell? And then Cyric is uh, the... You're a level one wild speaker, and then Gunty is nothing. Who was the Frostmancer? Am I going insane? One of us is going insane. Um, okay, well, that's cool. I'm fine with that. So you're a level one warlock. I could have sworn someone was a Frostmancer. Someone that we rescued? I guess n not. <laughs> I'm being gaslit here. Oh, no. Scooty was the... Because Scooty came from the, uh, from the Empire. Scooty was the Frostmancer. You've forgotten how to do it and you become a warlock instead. Well, that's fine. That's okay, I suppose. I'm not, I'm not so against that. Um, and then Cyric, of course, is the... What, what did you get? You got Wild Speaker. That's actually really good. I quite like that one a lot. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. 15. And then the Elf Gunty. I think we could... I, I, okay, let's get you linking immediately then. Apologize for keep rehashing the point over and over. It's really difficult to keep track of what's going on when I spend more time staring at the XML trying to fix things than, than actually playing the game. 
But we're good. Everything's fine now. I think we're all on the same level. Done. Linking ritual complete. Oh, and speaking of fixing things, Feldo patched my patch. Shout out to Feldo. Uh, and in theory, now we should see that all of the magical stats are very magical. Arcane load, magical sensitivity, meditation, mana gain, etc., etc. So we've almost got a total magical uh, magical theming for this now. Very nice. Uh, what are we doing with you again? I I'm happy to go for Warlock. Destroy eyes? <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I was going to make you melee. Do you get melee warlocks? Is that a thing like a spell sword? Scooty McPoot can boil their eyes. Wow, that's brutal. And then Cyric, uh, we can pick a path for you. Let's, let's keep going down, Wild Speaker, then. Savage Slice. Teleport a short distance to a target and slice a random body part. Nothing personnel kill. I like that quite a lot. We turn you into maybe an assassin-style character. We do need... Many people have suggested this, and I will try and put one, to, put one together at some point. A uh, like a ranger, generic ranger style class. And then for the other linking ritual, because we just have that much anima grass left over, because we gained some when we did the other thing, I'm going to give that to Pierce, the new recruit that we got, the, the lady who has the backstory of being part of Grigna's clan, with hence why she's enormous. Uh, also, the lover of Scooty. There you go. I think for you, you need something that seems appropriately Grigna esque. Wild Speaker is good, um, but we've already got a character with that now. We've got Grigna going down barbarian if we've got anything else that's kind of like a shaman could work although i was kind of tempted to give that to rita hmm this is a hard choice what do you skill that it's probably a better question melee just lots of melee oh you know what fine it says grigna clan barbarian we can always have a second barbarian i think i'm all right with that oh my god they've actually found it you've learned the a relic of the questing society is nearby the infinity gavel it is an ancient object in, venerated by all party members oh my god there it is wow it's got the fast i i think that'll probably change when we actually get it i think that's just the game trying to generate an example of what it could be the actual relic of course will be will be named but i think as soon as Scooty's patched up and good to go i think we'll send that caravan immediately straight back out again but in the meantime we'll wait for Grigner and Co. to reach the other castle ruins, which they're about to get to. I've disabled night travel because I thought for such a long distance, they're going to be really tired by the time they get there. And this could be quite a difficult fight. Okay, here we are. Our first proper dungeon crawl style adventure. Rita, Grigner, and Phil. I feel like these three are... Oh, is this it here? Whoa. Um, ah, there it is. Whoa, a tiny little door concealed behind all of this all of this mountain face. I think we've got to let Grigna try and bash it down and, and go in first. Can we bash it down or do we... We do have to destroy it. Fair enough. Grigna, bring this down. The problem is we have the walls are thick model, whatever it is called, a more recent release, which makes um, walls really hard to destroy. Although he's making quick work of it, to be fair. I mean, he is Grigna... Grigna, son. Gunty! Sad because my rivals are alive, but Gunty also... Oh! Hello. Uh, Gunty also obtained the Brawler trait. Now, Gunty is the one that became the, uh, Necromancer. What? Wild Speaker. The Scooty was there. Wait, you broke down and then became a Necromancer? What? Magical achievement level one. Bruh. My, I, oh, I'm an idiot. Because whenever you do a side ritual... There's a chance that the other people can get a Psy level, right? A Psy link level because of the party hard mod. I think that's the case anyway. So when we did that last ritual for Pierce to turn her into a barbarian, it just so happens Gunty who took part randomly became a necromancer. Oh, shit. Well, that's not what I would have had you do. But you know what? That's cool character development. I was just going to turn you into a generic elf archer and now you're a full-on freaking necromancer. That's cool. And that was a, a random roll of the dice as well. I'm up for it. That's actually a much cooler outcome than, than my generic-ass cliche thing. There are still people here. Enemy Brigand Raiders. No, see, that was not intentional. Grigna, back off. Uh, Rita, get in here. Start firing. Come down here. Come down here and fight Grigna. They're going to defend their... Wow, look at these freaking mushrooms, too. They're just going to stand there and defend their cave. Rush in. Grigna, go in, clear the way. Oh, this is so cool. This is a proper little dungeon crawling adventure. Phil, get him with some more side powers, fella. Kapow. These three. These three are such a squad. That is a ruined door there. And then we've got another ruined door there. I mean, I could start these two smashing the other ones. You know what I'm going to get you to do? I'm going to get you to chop down these 
timber shrooms. Because they are right in the way. And more mushrooms. Oh my god, these damn mushroom people. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Let's send Grigner in first. You can stay. Actually, you can stay there. That's fine, because you're behind cover. No, Rita, get back here. And then Phil, in a second. You know, let's send Phil in first, sod it. It's Phil's time. We've got to be careful, because he's almost at arcane capacity. Got to be a bit more... Bit more careful with Phil. I feel like he would be, might, might be a bit more useful to use as kind of a sweeper. We use his like bigger psychic attacks to get massive hits on enemies that might be more heavily armored. People that Grigna will take a, a much bigger gamble trying to fight. Like if we see one of those big old, big old knights again. Okay, Rita, let's get you, uh, let's get you in like that. Grigna scoot past. Oh no, we're all, we're all completely rammed in there. There we go. Whoa, area is now safe. Do you mean that? Like literally, is it? Safe? Or is it safe until we open another door? <laughs> Fuck this. So I'd select... Right, here we go. Select similar chop wood. Get rid of them. Oh, and another quest. Desperado camp. Soothing orb camp. Camp loot. That's always good. Um, the ruin is controlled by the dragonkin again. These bloody people. This is the same people who control this one. They love their ruins, don't they? Oh, no, it's definitely not safe. Shit. Uh, your Phil's got it. Phil's got it. Phil's got it. Phil, Risa, draft up. Careful. I think these two I can trust, although he is taking cover behind that ginormous mushroom again. Okay, nice, nice, nice. There we go. What about these? Contains unknown treasure. Sounds like it contains treasure to me. The wooden filled shelves we can loot as well. I think this might unintentionally take a lot longer than they, the, the developers intended. That, to me, it looks like the treasure at the end of the cave. That is so good. Oh, it's behind an enormous pile of bodies. Is this going to be some Indiana Jones shit? If I pick that up, is, the, is this going to send an enormous boulder after Grigner? Um, oh! Well, you know what? Let's pick it up on the way out. Varvin. Oh, carefully breathes fire. Funnily enough, there are imps as part of the Dragon King. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, God. If you get fire going in this place, this is going to be a nightmare. There's one thing Rita is weak to, and it just so happens that it's barreling towards her right now. Oh, God. Okay, Rita, Rita, Rita. Don't panic. Don't panic. Let's just get you to fly away. Get out of there. Nice. And then go away from the fire. Otherwise, she's going to start panicking. Phil, you were quite literally stood in flame. We've dealt with it, though. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, we're going to have to get Phil to put the fire out. What's the temperature like in there? We oh, can't sell doors. Okay, because we've been smashing all the doors. We should be fine. Okay. Press on. We've got ourselves a tomb. A grave rob? Ooh. Royal chest. Hello. Um, I guess I've got a grave rob, right? You know what? Let's wait until we've dealt with the <laughs> slightly more pressing matters of the encroaching inferno. What's happening with Phil? What's happening with Phil? Why is he glowing like that? Oh, because of his neuro heat. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> I thought they put some sort of curse on him. Let's throw down some sleeping spots. And I think we need to start patching our people up. I think that's probably most of the enemies dealt with, though. I think there was another... Right, there's one more door over there. Ah, uh, Grigna's fine. Grigna can handle it. Ooh, final room? Certainly looks like it might be the final room. Are you a hussar. What is that? Dirt mole, I see. I think that might be it now. This one, this one genuinely seems like it might be the end. Although there could be something over here, right? No, in hindsight, I'm not even sure we can ransom those people back to the New Republic. Let's send a raven and see if they're up for it. But I think they'll probably just hang up on us immediately, right? Because of... Uh, demand a ransom for prisoner. No prisoners of this faction. Sorry? We definitely do have prisoners of this faction. What about you, then? Oh, Crusaders of Light. Yeah, no, I'm an idiot. Hold on. They, it might be the same story, though. Crusaders of Light. Demand a ransom. Oh! Hello. Uh, bargaining for the... For this character from the Crusaders of Light, demand is 740 silver. Um, the lower we put it, the more chance we've got of success. We could really take the gamble, though, couldn't we? I presume they will just not allow another offer. Let's always go for the 50%. Actually, there's, no, there's actually no point at all. Hang on, is it directly half? Uh, no, it's less than half. Hold on. 724. Because on average, if we just do this with every character... Surely it makes, that's 300 and, that would be 740, but 50% is 724. It doesn't make any sense not just to do this every time, unless you fancy the gamble. But if we're going to do it a lot, <laughs> if we're going to do it like a lot, then it, then on average, it will just be, this is the safer bet. Maybe I'm thinking about it too much. This person's worth a fortune, and I do love to gamble. 3,255. Come on, we've got a 19% chance of making more money than we've ever seen before. Shit. They will try to free the prisoner. Oh, I didn't know that was the... What have I done? <laughs> that right there is called hubris. I guess I was right the first time around. Never mind. Can we call them again after their last person? Or are they just going to try and try and raid me again? Um, can I get rid of you? There you go. Okay. And then what if I, what if I just sell that last person? 
Do you think they'll let me do it, or are they just going to send the raid now? Demand ransom for prisoner. Uh, I don't know what it's saying there. You sold the... Pri okay. Well, I don't know if they'll still raid us. I don't know if they'll still raid us after doing that for being cheeky, but yeah, I th look, that could have been amazing. We still got thousands of silver out of it, so I'm, I'm definitely not going to complain at all. How much have, how much have we got now? We have 1,300 right when we started. 3,700 now? Oh my god. Well, we should just start kidnapping people. That's way more profitable than running an inn. At the main party, claw out all the mushrooms, build a little camp inside here. They did have a tent set up, but they've taken it back down now. We do have proxy heat, so you see anything inside that radius there will be affected by, funnily enough, heat. That might be a little difficult to believe, I know. And now I think uh, I'm, I'm happy to say, let's take a look and see what treasure we've got. Phil needs a little treatment, uh, Rita. There's not too much to ask. We get green, let's go gather up the treasure. Phil, come and lie down. Come on, come on, bed rest. What are you doing? This is going to be huge for us. We could have just come to one of these camps and got a research bench. What have you got there? Package survival meal. Advanced melee weapons. Ooh. What, what is that for? It's just a... I don't actually know. But look, it says it gives research speed factor. Oh, it's a book that you can install. Oh, cool. And it does link up to the research bench. Oh, that's cool. That's a, that's an interesting idea. And the more we populate our library... Okay, we got a little... <laughs> I got two silver from that chest. That was good. The more we populate our library, the more knowledge we have, the faster the research we go. That's interesting. I am going to grave rob, because I'm not above such things. Um, Amethyst ring. Oh, it's all tainted, though, isn't it? Morag Tong blade. An almost entirely destroyed... I can't imagine we're going to get anything at all off of these people, but... I'll take a look. You never know if a warrior's been buried with some, like, legendary stuff. Let's crack open the shelves. Um, what do we get that time? Uranium and five silver chalice. Something that we could sell at the inn. Genuine Grigner Adventure treasure. Package rations. <laughs> Chances are the people who wear... You know, bearing in mind, this was a faction that... Ooh! Treaty some crafting. Enchanted Tome... Seems to imbue with signs of magic. Its undecipherable phrases slowly turn to recognizable language when stared upon. Uttering its words will surely grant change. However, it renders the book useless. I think what that is, is a crafting skill trainer. Interesting. A little more, a little more silver there too. Man, this is cool. We found some really, really nice stuff. Can I claim and, um, ah, oh, there we are. We've got to claim the chalice and uninstall it. Gotcha. We've also got an ancient Gregnar. No, don't stop that right now. We've also got a uh, brazier that I think we'll take too. Gregnar can carry it. And we've got the alpaca too. <laughs> Put an enormous five kilogram Fraser on his back. It'll be fine. You'll manage. What have we got then? Do a little more grave robbing, but I feel like it's uh, kind of pointless. I'm hoping it'll pop up in the top corner and say like, oh, your blah, blah, blah is infused if there is anything good. And I think all I've done is actually just commit the horrible crime. And ooh, ring of tending. What is that? A healer's basic ring. Slipping on this garment imbues the hands with better 10 quality while also increasing the wearer's vitality. Healer 10 speed, 10 quality, 20%. Injury healing factor, 10%. It gives them plus one beauty and plus one social impact. Holy shit, that was the treasure. That was the real treasure. This was just a... Uh, this is just some fancy little goblet. Oh my god. Um, and then we also got eight of the devil's potion. When you drink one devil's potion, you need to keep drinking them, otherwise you die. So we'll save those for a rainy day. Holy shit. I mean, I've got to give that to Rita, right? You know what? I'm going to do it. Oh, but she's unkillable. Would it not make more sense to give it to Phil? I'm, I'm thinking less of the tend... Oh, but the ten quality and the tend... Everything else is so good. But I'm thinking more of the injury healing factor. Shit, that's a really hard choice. You know, I am going to give it to Rita. We'll give it to her for now. She's dropped an Onyx ring. Does that do anything? Um, gives a little trade price improvement. I'm going to give that to Phil because he's our social character. So everybody gets some sort of upgrade there. Well, everybody besides Grigner. Grigner got treasure. He can't complain. Iron conversion staff. Wait, that's the thing that, look, a simple staff used for rituals and conversions greatly boosts conversion factor and spread factor. This staff is not great for fighting. No, it's not, but it's also not tainted. Um, bear in mind, used weapons will have a little U on it, which means it's it's not as good to try and sell that. I'm sure um, these people that we defeated earlier probably have that if we were to take it out. Ooh, you got some bread, though. I'll take that. I mean, bread can't really go bad, right? Conversion power, 100%. Wow, so that means that whenever they try and convert someone, say it would have gone from, I don't know, a 3% reduction to a 6% reduction. It doesn't mean that it'll, they'll <laughs> always convert people. 50% to the ideology spread chance. We just give that to whoever's going to work at the inn because a lot of these people that we have taken in aren't our ideology and they don't believe. In fact, the majority of people aren't our ideology. 
Pierce is the blue trade group, so is Axie. We've got Scooty and Serac who are from the Empire, so believe in Zeusism. And then we've got Deep Rock Terrestrial and Country Army. I don't like the sound of that one so much. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't like either of those things. We've got a Cold Snap and then a Wolf Pack. Hello, bloody Fimble Winter. Hello. Uh, ten of them. Right, we'll wait for Greenland to come back. I feel like he's probably an expert with that. Is that, uh, potentially related to the wolves by any chance? Oh, my God. Um, is Exy gonna be fine? Is little Exy gonna be okay there working on the, working on the extension? Somewhat concerned about having a small child near a whole bunch of very hungry wolves. Well, they really have killed everything. Oh, my God. There's, like, a few little animals out there on... I can't even tell what the hell are out here on the map anymore. Oh, I think they're just guests. Right, the blue dots are just guests. Everything else is dead besides one goose. I get it. You don't want to mess with a goose, right? Oh. Granon tree for Rita? We could do something with that. Grigna. Grigna the wolf slayer. Kill them all. It also turns out, actually quickly before they unload the alpaca, there was a bunch of other stuff that I missed while it was, uh, w when I stripped all the bodies afterwards just before we left off. There were ruby dice, golden dice. I think we saw a lot of these though, didn't we? Um, there were extra jewelry that just weren't tainted that I double checked in the caravan menu. So we ended up with a bunch more stuff than I thought. And I think they're probably, yeah, they've got a lot in their inventory too. We'll, we'll kind of take stock of inventory, I suppose, at the start of tomorrow's episode. In the meantime... Let's kill some wolves. I think Grigna can deal with the lot. Everyone else, go inside. This is Grigna's task. Die. Die. I was kind of hoping the whole pack would turn on Grigna. Nice. Level 17 melee. Oh, you should have sent more wolves. Green. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. This is tactical wolf slaying. Grigna. Has Grigna leveled up his barbarian skills yet? I haven't checked in a while. Um, Marshall. He does indeed. Look at this. We've got three points to spend. Power leap. Blade focus, yes, and adrenaline rush. What does blade focus do? Um, doubles their melee damage for two minutes. That's nuts. Adrenaline rush. They get 30 seconds or longer, depending on their magical sensitivity of much... Oh, of all pain block. Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. And then power leap, obviously, he can leap long distances. I'm going to auto cast all of those. In fact, let's do it right now. Kill that wolf. Kapow. This is double damage, right? Wow, I can still take a lot of hits, even though it was double damage. Um, oh, is that all of them? Man, Grigna, you're just too strong. This isn't fair. Oh, the other one ran off. <laughs> I'm not really surprised. Now we've got plenty of food for the inn. I think that works out pretty well. Did Grigna take much damage? Um, not massively, no. No, not massively. It took, it took like a lot of separate hits, but barely scratched him. That was, uh, was an enormous haul of treasure. We'll go through it all. We'll make sure everything's set up and ready to go. What are you... Oh, it's a tent. We'll make sure everything's ready to set up to go. We'll, we'll get it all put in its uh, specific sections of of treasure too, I suppose. Start really decking this place out and showing that we've we've already achieved something with our little guild. Got to try and call in a trade caravan. But now we've got our uh, raven. Of course we can. I'll get a bulk goods trader out here and we'll try and liquidate a lot of these assets. What was that? Did you just put on that? No! That's, that's Rita's ring. But take that off. Keep calling her Bugsy. Oh, man, I'm so happy with that. That one quest was so good. And we've got another one still waiting for us to go and have a look at. We've got prisoners and trade agreements and hidden stuff and logging and sky shards after sky shards. There's so much to do. But I think, to be honest, we're very close to being able to start another caravan, right? We take Irene and the damsel that we've rescued. We take Pierce, who is uh, the barbarian, member of Bar the Grigna barbarian clan and Scooty's lover. We take those and then... Uh, we could have them take Exy as well. And then we could have three different three three person parties going out there, right? That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be cool. I like that idea. We we can get the, the new parties to do all the basic stuff. I feel like Scooty, Sarah, and Gunty have gonna I've got a lot going for them now. Especially given that Gunty randomly became a necromancer. And as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you, especially over the last few days for bearing with me. I did have to record uh, today's, yesterday's, and the day before's episode much longer in advance than I normally do. I never bolt record. I always record kind of 12 hours before an episode's due to go live or a little bit earlier than that. Um, but yeah, no, I never, never do anything like this or not normally unless I have to go somewhere. So thank you all for bearing with me. Appreciate the episode's probably lower quality than usual and a lot more... Um, a lot more, a lot more crap rammed in that I would normally edit out. A lot of character management and shit like that. So thank you for bearing with me. Tomorrow we'll get back to regular RPG adventures. I am gonna make sure the mod pack is updated before I leave. I'm leaving in genuinely like half an hour, so really left this up to the last, uh, last minute. Um, <laughs> not intentionally. I was recording non-stop, okay. Um, and then we will uh, get all that updated, and then I'll take any feedback I get from the comments and everything, and I'll put it into the new version of the mod pack that I'll try and release on Monday when I get back. Thank you all. In the meantime, again, thank you to the patrons, including. Spec, Hazpack, 
has crack. David, Druta, Buen Gun, Sun, Sin of Pi, Tungsten Heart, Ember the Kobold, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Slayer, I Doge, VC, Brian, Fexen, Salter, T Unkillable, Orgthal, Blood Snakes Chaos, Big Hunk, Big Daddy Mr. Hunk, Jack Barber, Patrick Paulia, The Legend Boss, Tulip, Sideshow C, Constable Corvus, Aronidas, and Cataphract for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for making it all possible. And thank you as well to Kitsune Edit Stuff, Mark Jeru, Mike Omeg, A Good Chunk of Bolsa, Elizabeth Lagrosse, Large Leviathan, Felsby Vibin, Fark, Scorpio, Edgewood, Silenda, Sean Beeg, Owoni Chan, I hate you, Matthew T, Kuara Datus, Jerobear, Central Kazoo, Yolo Ninja, Chax, Hero Club, Pumbly, Brian Baldwin, Nictis, RT Party, KJ, Rommel DK, HJK907, Selena Krieg, and James as well. Come back tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow. I don't think I'll have time to get another episode done. Well, I won't have time to get an episode done tomorrow. Depends whether I release this on Monday or not, and then leave Sunday blank, which I think I might do, saying it out loud. See you actually tomorrow, then.